Hi there, it's Mimsy. Today I'm going to show you how to cover this lampshade with caning. So this procedure will work with caning, with fabric, with paper, whatever you want to cover your lampshade with, you can use this method. So let's get started. Since I have done six drum shades prior to this, I now consider myself an expert at this process. So the first thing that we're going to do is make a paper pattern for the lampshade because I'm going to be using caning and cane is a little bit expensive and I don't want to mess up. I'm going to make a pattern and then use my pattern to cut the cane. So I'm going to use this butcher paper, which is from the grocery store. You could use craft paper. You could use old wrapping paper, painter's paper, whatever you've got to make your pattern. The nice thing about this is that it is the same, almost exactly the same size as my caning, so that's very convenient. First thing I'm going to do is square off the end of my paper, and I'm going to bring you in closer. So I've got my craft paper here, my lampshade. We're going to find the seam on the inside of the lampshade, which is right here. So I'm going to line up that seam with the edge of my paper right here and here and I'm going to bring this all the way down to the bottom of my paper so that this edge lines up with the bottom. Make sure that that's square with the edge of the paper and with the edge of the paper there. Grab your pencil and we're going to mark the edge of the lampshade as we roll it to the edge of the paper. Okay, now I've got my top drawn and I'll bring it back down. We're going to start it at the bottom. and roll and mark okay okay so now we've got our lines and now i'll cut that out So now I've got a pattern and I need to make probably three of those. So I'm gonna cut out my first piece of caning with that pattern. Let's see where this is gonna best fit. Just a couple items to weigh it down and I'm going to trace out the pattern onto my caning. Now I've got two pieces cut out, and here's a really good help to this project is binder clips. So either find some binder clips or maybe some clothespins. Dollar Tree has a pack of clothespins. These would be helpful also. And next we'll go ahead and clip this to the lampshade. See how much coverage I've got. Okay, so you see the overlap here is funky, but I'm still going to clip this and then I'll draw a line and cut that off. I'll go ahead and put a couple clips on the top too so I can make sure that I'm keeping things nice and flat. Okay, so I've only got one small section here. So I need to cut out one more section and then I'll put it on here, overlap and cut so it's kind of in three equal sections. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line here and then cut this one off so that these two pieces will join. Okay, there we go. So now that's just a tiny little overlap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this and mark it so that it's evenly in three even sections. So that's 68 inches around the bottom. So divided by three, so about 22 inches a piece. So I'm gonna start from this seam here, go 22 inches both ways. So 
22 takes me to there. And then 22 this way. Okay, I've got a pretty good dry fit here. So now I can start gluing the first section on. Okay, so I've got this part glued on. I glued down this edge and then across the top and then across the bottom, pulling tight as I glued the whole thing. So now I'm gonna do this seam right here. I'm just pulling across so that this will be nice and tight. Okay, now I'll go across the bottom and every stretch I'll just pull, pull, pull and put a few spots in here and pull, pull, pull so this will be nice and tight. Okay, so I've got all of the cane glued on all the way around. So I glued the first piece at both of the sides, the bottom and the top. If it seemed like it was getting bubbly on here, then I dropped a couple drops in there, but not too many. And it's pretty evenly spaced between the three sections. And now I am going to glue on the spline to the top of the shade. And you know what? It's completely dark outside, so I might move the camera over there so you can see on the light side. Okay, and the idea with this is that this spline covers up the top, like jaggedy edge of the cutoff caning. So you want it to be higher than the top of that caning. And I'm thinking I might paint this black or charcoal gray, dark charcoal gray, just to have a contrast band on there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing around the bottom edge and then I will put the light kit in the shade and then hang it over my table. Here's my current shade that hangs at my dining room table. This shade just comes off, there's a wing nut on here and the shade just slips out of this U-shaped situation here. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. See my lamp, this lampshade has a U-shaped nut there. This shade does not. So I've got to figure out how to take this apart so that I can slip that lampshade on here. Okay, so rather than trying to rewire this lamp kit, because what I would have had to done is, um, I definitely didn't want to have to do anything with this piece. I would have had to cut the wire somewhere up here and connect a whole new wire. So rather than doing that, I went ahead and grabbed my Sawzall with a metal cutting blade and uh, I just went ahead and cut a slit in the shade like this one so that I could just go ahead and mount this onto this piece right here. That's what I did. It just fits right in there. Way faster. I cut that in a matter of uh, literally two minutes with the sawzall. It cuts really fast with the metal cutting blade. So that's it. I just tightened up that wing nut on the inside of the shade and the shade just sits in there and hangs nicely and it's complete. I hung it over my dining room table, plugged it in, and there you have it. Super simple, and you can use this method with any size or style lampshade with any kind of material, cane, fabric, paper, whatever you've got. So here's my lampshade lit. So a couple things. My lampshade has these seams on the fabric shade and then of course there's the seam of my caning right there so not only do those seams on the shade actually show through but my cane seams don't line up to it so had i lined up the cane seams to those seams it would have been okay but i did not do that so I'm either going to remake it or go back to my original plan and make a, a pleated shade. So it would have been fine had I used a shade that didn't have all those seams around it, like these. These shades here on my lamps, they don't have any seams. So had I used these, it would have been fine. But you live and you learn, and sometimes you just live. 
<laughs> Check out my next video with the drum shade, or last week's video with the drum shade caning.